The story of Axl Rose replacing Brian Johnson as the singer of ACDC for their current tour has been probably one of the biggest news stories of 2016, and it's once again going to dominate the media over the next couple of days because of this occurrence that we have just learned about, which actually I'm going to name the Belgian uh, Backlash. The Belgian Backlash is essentially 7,000 fans or 7,000 ticket holders to the upcoming ACDC show that was to take place in the country have reportedly asked for a refund for their purchase and Live Nation, which is uh, putting on the concert, you know, they're the, the people taking care of the tickets and all that stuff, uh, are honoring these uh, refunds and they are placing the tickets back on sale for the general public. Uh, now, the overall response to this move has been mostly negative, and this has been based off of the amount of information that has come out based around this, and also based a little bit about Axl Rose's reputation, and I think some of it is also a bit unjustified, saying, well, you don't need to hear in order to sing, which is really, really stupid. Anybody that really has that view obviously has never done the crap before, either that or thinks that Brian Johnson is some sort of superhero. While I'm sure that some people would love to see Super Brian take care of everything, uh, it's really just not the case. This is a serious situation. So, one of the main reasons that many people have been disappointed in this move is the fact that there have been a lot of different singers auditioned for it. In fact, at one point in time it was suggested uh, that this would be something that was done as a vocalist committee, potentially also including uh, names such as Sebastian Bach from, uh, you know, formerly of Skid Row, the lead singer of Crocus, or perhaps even some members of some tribute bands, some vocalists from tribute bands. Uh, but obviously this backlash of such a magnificent proportion was not something that I really predicted, considering, you know, I thought that it was sort of just a cool idea that ACDC didn't just cancel the whole gig and just stop performing live, essentially have that be the last hurrah, the final bow for ACDC. And maybe that's exactly why this backlash is occurring, because a lot of more people than I thought would have actually have come to peace just fine with that being the last gasp of ACDC, with Brian Johnson sort of dies the live version of the band. Now, Brian has indicated that he still has the desire and still has plans, he still has the ability to go into the studio and record new music, that ACDC wouldn't die or be a dead project based off of this idea. And it is kind of neat still, in my opinion, that they wanted to honor some of the dates and they wanted to actually go out there and still put on the show, but this has even been something that has been harshly criticized, not my thoughts, but that thought, as being nothing more than a glorified cash-in, that ACDC has been all about the money, and that's one of the main reasons why they chose a high-profile name such as Axl Rose over somebody such as one of these tribute band vocalists that no doubt would have gotten a lot of exposure and, you know, kind of be helping out the little guy, uh, first of all, but also, second of all, perhaps may have been better suited for the role uh, than somebody who is also aiming to do his own uh, comeback tour with Guns N' Roses later on this summer. And unfortunately, I feel that this Belgian backlash is not going to be merely a Belgian backlash. It's instead going to be a European evacuation, something where all of these dates for these uh, for this tour, I feel, are going to experience high levels of refund, and it's something that Live Nation has already sort of gotten ahead of the game with by offering refunds to anybody who wishes to uh, attain one. Now, any ticket that is refunded is going to be placed back on sale for the general public, so in reality, if you tried to get a ticket to this show and still would want to go, there's a good chance that you may be able to find a ticket now, as opposed to before this backlash has begun. Now, as for the United States tour dates that are going to be taking place later on this year, rescheduled from earlier in 2016, uh, there hasn't been any sort of refund policy that's been put in place as of yet that is yet to come. You know, obviously, once all of those get rescheduled, everything is set in stone, then they'll worry about alerting the, uh, the people who purchase tickets about the refund policy if they wish to participate in it. Wow, I, 
I knew that there was going to be a bit of a mess based around this, uh, because Axel's reputation isn't exactly sterling, you know, and in fact there have been some articles that state it would be a damn shame if Axl Rose were to fuck over ACDC the way he's fucked over his own band over the course of many decades, but, I mean, I really didn't expect it to be this wide of a swat. First of all, I'm really unclear as to how many people are expected to turn out for this Belgian show. I, I don't know what the capacity of the location is. Perhaps one of my Belgian friends here in the nation can give me a bit of a hand if you've ever been to a show at that venue before. Uh, you'll have to look it up because I'm honestly in the dark here. Uh, but to have 7,000 people want a refund, that's not a good sign. And in fact, by the time this tour is over, I have a feeling that the big statistics that you're going to be seeing, the big ones that you're going to be hearing about that will be publicized, will not only be the attendance of these shows, but also the number of tickets that were refunded uh, based around this decision. So I'm kind of left in a bit of a fog here. I want to know what you guys think about all of these people, all of these, uh, these metal fans, these ACDC fans opting to go the refund routes for this Belgium show. Do you feel that this is going to continue throughout Europe? Will it be a European evacuation as I kind of just playfully jabbed at, you know? And whenever this does come to the United States, is this going to be a United States sell-off? I guess that's a play on the New York Stock Exchange. I'm just coming up with this shit on the fly. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Is this going to is this a move that's gonna hurt ACDC's legacy? Let me know. I'm Cover Killer Nation. And the next time that uh, something happens that's messed up in this situation, um, I I'm probably not going to talk about it. I've talked about this way too much. I'm kind of getting sick of it. But let me know your thoughts. Peace.